At the California State Capitol in Sacramento, an important announcement was made recently. Info California, a radical new effort at controlling the cost of government using multimedia touchscreens, was formally launched. Endorsing the effort with a video introduction was Governor Pete Wilson. This pilot program uses advanced technology to get fast, up-to-date information into your hands. It literally puts state government at your fingertips. Info California is a fresh approach to containing the cost of government and provides you with the attention and the service you demand. The national and regional press took notice, as did thousands of Californians who flooded the 15 new kiosks in Sacramento and San Diego counties. This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. We've gotten so used to machines dispensing money, accepting deposits, issuing travel insurance, answering our phones. Why shouldn't they also replace part of the bureaucracy? Well, California kiosks might. NBC's George Lewis tonight. Let's get it to go ahead. State officials claim the computer kiosks are as easy to use as the teller machines at banks, that they eliminate a lot of bureaucratic hassles. Just ask Governor Pete Wilson. Have you ever waited for hours in a line or been put on hold and transferred over and over just to get the information that you need? The long lines at the California Department of Motor Vehicles, the Employment Office, and other state agencies are notorious. We're trying to cut through some of the red tape of government and really work smarter. And by using these machines, we literally put government at people's fingertips. The machines have slots which read the magnetic stripes on credit cards and the new California driver's licenses. Starting next year, people can use the kiosks to pay traffic tickets, renew auto registrations, and get copies of birth certificates. This woman wanted information on how to file a suit in small claims court. She says using the machine is a lot easier than calling the courts on the phone. I know I was going to be on the phone calling down there, and the lines are always busy, so I, can, I knew to come here. The kiosks get a list of job openings from the employment office, updated daily. Let's say I'm looking for a job. I hit the button that says employment. We'll try a job in the professional, technical, or managerial area. technical and area. managerial jobs include architecture. And, well, since I write for a living, I'll try writing. There are no jobs in the job category or the area that you've selected. Maybe there are no jobs available because all the people in those positions have been replaced by machines. That's not true, of course, but the kiosks could put a few state bureaucrats out of their jobs. Elected officials have hailed the machines as a great way to cut costs. The idea is bound to catch on because those officials also get free TV exposure. This is Governor Pete Wilson. Thank you. You're welcome. George Lewis, NBC News, Sacramento. That's Nightly News for this Monday night. I'm Tom Brokaw. 30 state agencies collaborated for nearly a year to produce Info California, and senior officials added their endorsements. Info California is a good example of how the public and private sectors can work together to improve a variety of public services. What you see here today is a kiosk, and that's the cornerstone of Info California. And this nine-month pilot project will be a real test place for this system. It offers at no cost to the user approximately 90 informational segments, and a job match program, which gives job seekers information on job openings both locally and statewide. Through its job match program, Info California will provide an essential contribution to our recovering economy. We hope to match job seekers with employers in a new way that really has some tremendous successes. During the second phase of this pilot, we plan to offer the public the ability to directly order and pay for state services, such as obtaining a birth certificate. Additionally, in phase two, it will accept credit cards as a means for payment for services. In addition, Info California can eventually be integrated with local government systems, including kiosks currently in operation for the courts of Los Angeles and Long Beach, and kiosks used for other services in Tulare County and the city of Sacramento. The Department of Motor Vehicles is pleased to be part of this exciting pilot project. If successful, and I'm sure it will be successful, Info California will be of special benefit to almost 20 million licensed drivers. All our licensed drivers interact with our department, at least annually. Motorists will now have an alternative to long lines and busy telephones. 
For example, customers trying to find out what documents are needed to change a vehicle registration title will simply walk up to Info California's kiosk and by following the easy directions on the screen, get all the information they need. Based upon test period results, the program could be expanded so that not only will the customer be able to obtain all the information needed and how to renew a vehicle registration, but be able to complete the entire transaction right on the kiosk. Also on hand were the key InfoCal co-sponsors, IBM Corporation and the Health and Welfare Agency Data Center. IBM is pleased to join with the State of California and North Communications in launching the Information California Pilot. The integration of video, audio, computer graphics, and data will allow us to address some of the large challenges facing state workers and program managers, such as multiple language requirements, lower literacy levels, and exploding, time-consuming, repetitive requests for information and services. Finally, North Communications, the designers and implementers of Info California, were present to help explain its significance. We all uh, in this room here are taxpayers, and we all pay for government. Info California is a way to bring the information and the services that we pay for forward and make them available. It's a way that citizens can get more for their money out of government. This is like an ATM for government an automated teller machine for government. And it allows government to be able to put a full service office containing information from many different agencies in nine square feet of floor space anywhere that there's AC power and a, and a telephone line. I need to file a small claim. How do I go about it? I need a job. Where do I find it? Where do I get an AIDS test? How do I find out about family planning? Uh, how do I find out about daycare, health care? Uh, what do I need to do to renew a license on an out-of-state vehicle or on a boat? This is CNN. California is experimenting with a new computer system that allows state residents to check for jobs with the touch of a button. Officials are hoping this system eventually will be expanded to provide a variety of state services at computer kiosks. CNN's Don Knapp has more on push-button government. Please select the first letter of the city where you'd like to work. Uh, Citrus Heights. Yeah. Monica Anderson just discovered the Info California kiosk in this Sacramento mall. Now she's using it to look for a job. You know, if you call, you're not sitting on hold. This way you have more or less an idea of where to go, where the jobs are. I think it's great. I really do. Californians can now step up to any of 15 computer kiosks in Sacramento and San Diego and get answers to questions on just about anything in the state's massive computer files, like the 14 million files here in the state's Health and Welfare Agency data center. Currently, this computer center services about 25,000 computer terminals throughout California. Those 25,000 computer terminals on an average day will do about 5 million transactions a day asking for information out of this computer center. But letting Californians do the computing themselves could mean faster service, shorter lines, and lower costs for the state. The Info California system uses laser video disks in an interactive program tied to state computers. Kiosks could be located anywhere there's a phone line and electricity. Right now the computer kiosk is being used for information only, but eventually the state hopes to do everything with a kiosk that it now does over the counter at many of its state agencies, like issue a new driver's license, or even pay for parking tickets with a credit card. There's even talk of having parolees check in with the state by leaving a thumbprint. This is really government's ATM and our opportunity to cut through government red tape and to really make government much more accessible. If the computer kiosks live up to expectations, one official says, they'll be to government services what the ATM is to banking. Only instead of Californians withdrawing cash, they'll be inserting credit cards. Don Knapp, CNN, Sacramento. These touch screens are being received enthusiastically by Californians. Up to 100 people per day are touching each one, and the system gets an overall 85% approval rating. If Info California is successful, it will be a model for other states. So this could be the way you see government in the future. Accessible, fast, convenient, cost-effective providing information that people use to improve their lives.